Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you saw my video on Wednesday where I chatted away while making all my flowers, I gave you a little sneak peek of a project that was going to be coming out today that I'm going to show you how to make and that that's what these flowers are destined for. And I was naughty, I gave you a sneak peek, but here is the finish, finished project. It is a stack of boxes and this one has been deliberately done in browns because once again it's birthday season is coming along so um, my son Luke turns 18 at the end of July so we've got birthdays on the horizon um, so I thought a stack of little brown boxes tied up with string and it kind of reminded me of parcels that you know just that that sort of imagery the old world imagery you get of, of stacks of books and parcels wrapped up you know different colors of brown paper with string and I just thought that was lovely so this one I'm not going to floralize because I can't think of the word to go with flowers because I think this would be quite good for for Luke for um, a present but we've got his birthday we've also got Jake's birthday but we've also got my mum's birthday so mum if you're watching turn off it's my mum's birthday in the middle of August so yeah we've got um, Luke but the day before is um, one of my older brothers and Luke, they're a day apart. Then my eldest brother and my mum are two days apart, two weeks after these two. And then 10 days after that, we've got Jacob, my other son. So both my older brothers and my mum and two of my sons all in a one month period. Okay, so I've got three pieces of cardstock. Now, if you saw Monday's project, and I'll have I got Monday's project handy. I have, so Monday's project was this one. And it was a lovely box that opened up like that. And this box is this box here, but it's not the others, obviously. Right, so you need three pieces of cardstock. Please don't worry about writing any of the measurements down now while I'm doing this video, because that's what it looks like. They will all be on my blog. I'm just gonna move these flowers out because I need those instructions. They will all be on my blog. They will be in both metric and imperial okay so your bo your pieces of cardstock are all measuring the same length um, because they are all going to be that length but they are different widths they're all 11 inches long this one is 8 inches wide this one is 6 inches wide this one is 4 inches wide which is the same as Monday's video in uh, metric 27 and a half centimeters long this one is 20 centimetres wide, this one is 15, this one is 10. Okay. I cut embossed on my Simply Scored. Right. Okay. So, on the short one, so again, same as, like I say, this is the same as Monday's um, project. And you score them almost exactly the same. I'm not going to shout out the measurements um, because, like I say, they're all on my blog. Click that description bar open. And yeah, so on Wednesday, when I made my flowers and chatted on like, I, like it was going out of fashion, um, I announced that the clearance rack had refreshed. It is still refreshed. There's still stuff in there. The online exclusives have kicked off they are now available for purchase which is very exciting and the bonus days where you can um, for every 45 pounds you spend in the month of July you will earn a four pound fifty coupon I just whacked my lights a four pound fifty coupon that you can then redeem in August so in euros for every 60 euros you spend you get a six euro voucher i don't know what it is in dollars whether they are american canadian australian new zealand i don't know what that is ask a demonstrator in your country but the bonus days is on for them as well so okay so i've burnished all of that i'm just going to burnish and chatter all along so my colors for my first project the base one is um, crumb cake. The next one is pecan pie, which is a new colour, from and that's the new to the neutrals, and then early espresso, 
So crumb cake has been around since forever. So is early espresso, certainly since before I was a demonstrator. And pecan pie is new to the lineup for neutrals as of this year. And then over here I'm using, what colours am I using? I can't remember. Fresh freesia, I couldn't think what it was called. Fresh freesia, Highland Heather. I suddenly had a moment and I thought, did Highland Heather retire? No, that was Wisteria Wonder about five years ago. Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. Just three gorgeous purples and purple. Purple and lime green, my mum's favourite colours. Let me just, I'm going to say she would love a bit of parakeet parsley and Highland Heather. My mum all over. So, but she loves purple. So I've burnished these in exactly the same way. I am going to build all three. Um, often when I do a stack of boxes, I only build um, one of them and I complete the stack. But I want to build all three because I want to show you how I kind of tied the parcels together. Um, and there's a good reason for showing, for wanting to show you how to tie the parcels together. What is wrong with my scissors? They don't need to be, they're not snipping at the end. Let me find another pair. They weren't snipping right at the tip. They look better. Okay. So I'm going to repeat this on all of them. Um, if I was savvy with um, editing on my PC, then I would pause now finish everything and splice it all together but I can splice videos together except the program I've got makes all my videos go pink when I do that so I don't want to so um you could fast forward me I'm not going to be talking about anything interesting I don't think um or you could hang out with me uh yeah fast forward and come back I don't know Probably would have been wise to have prepped some of these before, even if not completing them, but anyway. I would say you won't be able to make one that is, so we've got 8 by 11, 6 by 11 and 4 by 11. Um, you could do 10 by 11 and you'd have a, a, a box that's wider still, but you won't be able to get narrower than that. And you probably do 12 by 11 as well, so you could do a stack of 5. Um, What's that going to be in metric? So 10 by 11 is going to be 25 by 27 and a half centimetres. And then the a biggest one, you could, you could get away with 30, 30 centimetres by 27 and a half. And that's kind of the biggest cardstock we would do. Um, but I do set my projects so that everybody can make them with standard size uh, card stock for whichever country they're in. Um, international A4 is 29.7 centimeters by 21, which is longer but narrower than American eight and a half by 11. So I set my measurements so that everybody can make them, that you don't have to you know, use 12 by 12 here if you're in one place and not in another. So I like to be considerate. Okay, I think I am. Let's get these taped up. So I'm using tear and tape. Um, I was using Seal Plus and then managed to lose it. So I'm going to use tear and tape now. Might as well do all of them while I'm here. I do like this trio of colours. Um, we have some really lovely combinations and I, I've i said it before on a few videos that are in colours, not that I'm using any at the moment, but are in colours. Um, I think they work very well to complement other colours that we have. I wouldn't necessarily say try and work with all five to get all five together but you know they will complement one another so bubble bath which is in our subtles collection works incredibly well with moody mauve which is an in color let me just grab a 
colours. So that's Bubble Bath and that's Moody Moe's. Those two colours work so well together. Um, Wild Wheat works very well with Lemon Lolly. I've shown you those two before. Um, Boho Blue works very well with Night of Navy, but it also works very well with Misty Moonlight. So I see them as a standalone colour to complement something else. Ironically, none of these three are, are in colours, they are just regular colours. And I believe they're one each from... No, those two are from Subtles. Did that move? Um, Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia are both Subtles. And this one is a bright... No, it's not. It's now a Regal. <laughs> OK, this is the first one I'm going to put together. So two ends in to form one edge. And I'm going to bring that one round to form the base. And that one as well. So that's the first box done. And like I say, this is exactly the same as Monday's project. Actually, this isn't. This project isn't inspired by my Monday video. So that was, you can see it, it's got beautiful detailed embossing on it. Just gorgeous. Go back and watch it. It's fabulous. Um, it was as I was making, I was looking, I was thinking, what do I want to make? Oh, I want to make um, a box with trailing flowers, which is what I'm going to do now. At least I hope it works out. Um, I wanted to make a couple of, I wanted to make a box with trailing flowers. Then I was like, oh no, I'm going to make a stack of boxes. And I made this one first. And then I thought, oh no, I could put another one on top. And then a third. And then it just worked out that actually this was the same as Monday's. Love it when it works like, like that. I shouldn't have said anything. I should have said, yeah, totally designed like that. No, it was an accident. Um, so I do have finished sizes for you for when each box is completed. So the smallest one here finishes, at, they all finish at an inch tall um, and they all finish at four inches that way. So that's two and a half centimetres, sorry, two and a half centimetres top to bottom two and a half centimetres by 10, cent 10 centimetres front to back. They're all the same. Um, and as you can see, they're all the same height. They're all the same length front to back. This one, two inches wide, four inches wide, six inches wide. So that will give you an idea of what you can put in them. So there's two done. And let's get the third. Like I say, the the building it tying them together is what I wanted to show you because it took me a few minutes to work out how I was going to do it okay let's put the last one together I can hear a cat walking down my landing it's Sorrel I haven't seen her all day she's probably been on a one of my boys bedroom uh, one of their beds and they've got lots to choose from. Okay, so this is the biggest one. Okay, so the reason I want to show you how to put it together, and I think you're going to see it best on this one, is that although the... I'll focus on me, not the background. There we go. Although it's perfectly closing, and it is, well, there's a little bit of tear and tape gapage there, it flaps and gaps at the back there and I want to get that tightly in so on my project from Monday I had ribbon that was closing it but one ribbon round all of it doesn't work because it's going to come at an angle it would be at that angle so these ones here wouldn't be tied closed so let me find some nice twine and I'm looking for, I'm looking in my drawer, mm. where did it go, why have I only got cream, I don't want cream, I want white, mm. the white twine's gone missing, hold please, white is black, have I got spare in my drawer on the other side of the office? Yes, 
I've got brand new linen thread because that's all I've got left. Right, this is what I wanted and I didn't want cream. So we're going to kind of s sort of sew this together-ish, but not. Oh, please find an end. There it is. I want it to be kind of long-ish. So I'm going to move those two out of the way for now. This is where it's flapping open at the back. I'm going to come over like that. Whoops, I want more length. I want quite a lot of length. And I'm going to go over like that. Okay. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to get my middle one. And I'm going to come back over again and back again okay they are still loose and moving around I'm going to show you how to tighten that one up so we're not tying a knot in the middle we're just crossing over <laughs> Sorrel on the stairs and then the top one I'm going to go back over I'm going to get this one okay and I am going to cross this. So this is my loose end in my right hand. So I'm just hanging on to that. Get hold of all three. This one that's still on the spool. Go round and under. And then over. Okay. And it's going to come to there. I'm going to ch cut some of the end off. So that I can get that it's still a loose knot it's not tight yet because I'm just gonna make sure it's all lined up everywhere and then I can tie my bow on the top oh <laughs> can you hear that cat I will try and tie a bow on the top she's shouting out <laughs> she knows I'm here she's just walked down here and that is holding it all in place it's holding those bits closed and it's nothing's moving well it's moving a tiny bit but not enough to worry about okay. oh no I've just undone that bow oh just undone that end Oh, she's got a toy. I can hear her chasing it. Okay. Right. Now, to finish off with these beautiful flowers that I put together the other day, I'm kind of half thinking these might be a little bit on the big side. But we're going to... Yeah. So I'm going to do the smaller ones first. I'm going to bring in my liquid glue. And I know everybody's going to say, Sam, where did you get your um, glue stand from? I don't know, it was the lovely Rachel on my team um, gave it to me years ago, four and a half, five years ago. I believe they are 3D printed. Um, she bought it and gave it to me. So I've got one there. I've got another one here. And I'm just, oh, I'm apparently I'm slipping everywhere. They're not going in any sort of perfect location. I'm just randomly putting them in. I want sort of trailing flowers kind of ish oh that's a bit of a big blob of glue but you know that's okay I'm not worried and I've got these ones that I put together oh that's quite flat so if you didn't see Wednesday's video go and watch Wednesday's video and see how I put these flowers together mostly it's just me naturally and chatting about nothing and everything um, but it was fun if I did say on Wednesday I should have set that up as a Q&A but I didn't think in advance about that um, if you want me to do that I'm happy to do that let me know I don't like that one up there that's better <laughs> fling that across the room I can hear her in the kitchen she's skittering 
around my cat that is yeah I don't want that one I'm just gonna park that in the bin so those should hopefully dry see I don't like that one either oh I'm gonna have to put it back because I've got blobby glue there now I don't like it very much it's too tightly in but anyway so lid on the glue I kind of feel those are just a little bit too big better on a bigger project those are my beautiful and I'm gonna say it about my own project I think they are beautiful stacks of boxes to give and I love the trailing flowers it, it's come out how I had it in my head oh, apart from that one arguably not that one I wonder if I can peel off the middle of this one and cover it up that's better put this one on as well bit of glue in the middle so much better yes oh <laughs> I fell off the front <laughs> anyway I like those very much yes that's come out that's what I had in my head was going to be a trail of flowers down the side of a stack of gift boxes and then of course the version for my Luke or maybe Jacob I don't know um, I'm not sure how I would decorate that with die cuts I don't know maybe the whale on the front I don't know but actually I kind of like it is it oh you know what maybe stamping over it might be good but you've now got options the beautiful purple floral or the more plain masculine anyway I can't believe this is probably the longest video I've done in ever um thank you ever so much for joining me if you stayed to the end bravo you anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you very soon Bye.